Hello, 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 everyone. This is your girl, Retro Star. Welcome to another, yet another, no death run uh, of DuckTales. This will be, will be the, la the very last run of DuckTales. This is going to be the bad ending done on Difficult. Um, I've discovered that um, doing this run on Difficult is, is actually easier because if you try to do this run on Normal, they don't give you as many gems as they do on Difficult. Um, reason being is because uh, difficult uh, usually does not give you a lot of perks. It takes away part of why it's difficult. It takes away a lot of the perks that are given to you uh, in the game, like uh, like uh, like food and blood and stuff like that. If you get low in life or whatever, um, I think the only thing you will get is probably some ice cream cones every now and then. But for the most part, they do take those things away and replace it with gems. This is why doing it on difficult is easier to get the best ending because you got more money. They give you a lot more breaks, uh, money breaks than they do in any other uh, difficulty setting. So uh, I wasn't going to do it on difficulty. I was going to let difficulty be another segment. But since it's easier to get the best ending doing it on difficult, we're going to be doing and duking this out on difficult. Mind you, difficulty means basically the difference between difficult, normal, and easy is because... You don't get as many perks, you don't get as many uh, fill-ups, you don't get any invisibility, um, you don't get uh, you don't get as much breaks as you do in the other ones. They basically replace that with, with gems and money. Um, so you'll be getting more money instead of uh, instead of more blood and more perks. And basically in another another thing, uh, the enemies, uh, the bosses are a lot tougher. Um, a lot more hits on the bosses. Uh, you take a lot more damage. Well, a little bit more damage than you do in the uh, the other difficulty settings. So basically, you're gonna do this on difficulty. You also, you got to be very careful. Um, e even if you suffer deaths, um, the best thing to do if you're doing the best ending is to make sure you stack up on as many uh, as as many extra men as you possibly can because. That is going to be your number one ally in this because once you run out of men, as long as you are finishing out this off with a 1cc, you can get the best ending. But you absolutely do not, you, once you die, you lose all of your money, you lose everything that you got, and you will be starting the game out from scratch. So make sure where you, where you can find any extra men, that's going to be your best bet. Um, even if you suffer deaths, uh, you'll, still, you'll still keep your money. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You'll still keep your money, um, and you'll stay in the game. But the moment you run out, and you don't, there's no continues in Ducktales. So, once you run out of men, that's it. You start from the beginning. So, make sure you stay healthy. Um, collect whatever they give you. If they give you ice cream cones. Collect that. Um, they're gonna be replacing most of the stuff with money. So that makes it a lot easier for you to achieve the uh, the tenth million goal by stage five. You have to reach that before you get to the last stage because once you get to the last boss you're not going to be able to collect any anything else even if you do collect anything else, it won't count once they add the money up that's it that's what you're going to beat the game with so make sure you're over 10 million make sure that you are over 10 million million before you get to stage five or the end of stage five or whatever or stage five so basically um this was a lot more fun than doing the the, the terrible ending. The terrible ending, you, you can't collect any gems at all. You, you can't collect any extra money or any extra gems. So it was really quite, really boring. And it's difficult because, you know, those gems are everywhere and they fall out of the sky sometimes or they fall off of the walls. Okay, notice what I just did there. This is the bonus stage. Um... And how you get the bonus stage, and let, let you in on a little secret here, how you get the bonus stage, uh, you see those digits up there where they have, uh, right above the HP where they have the money. The second digit uh, on that, the very second digit, you got to make sure wherever there's a 7, if you, if one, once you reach the 7 on that second digit, and you uh, you go back to a uh, large, I guess his name is Large Pouch, a large, <coughs> excuse me, I can't talk, Large Pat McQuack, um, the pilot, Go back to him and uh, make sure you take the ride and he'll take you straight to a bonus stage before he drops you off. Um, and you'll be able to collect a lot of red gems. A lot of those gems are red. 
and the red gem gems that you get with the red tin on it, the red outlining, uh, cost more. It definitely it gives you more money, so that you get a whole bunch of those gems um, to collect and get get your uh, get your money count up. And you definitely have to do two of those at least. You have to at least do two money rides. I call it the money ride. Uh, two money rides along with collecting as many gems as you possibly can, as many as you can carry. Um, and um, getting the treasures, get, getting the, the extra treasures, and all of that, it should be an easy thing to, to accomplish. And just make, you, make sure you do it on difficult, and don't do it on normal or easy. Do it on difficult, it's easier. Um, just make sure you keep a healthy amount of men, and, um, and definitely beat the game within, uh, within the continues, because there's actually there's no continues. Uh, basically just a one... Uh, one credit clear has to be a one credit clear because if you lose all of your men there's no continuation you know you don't continue you start over so you see that digit up there where it says six you get that to seven the second digit um, you'll be able to get yourself the money right sometimes you have to do a little grinding to get there but you could at least if you at least get two of those rides you should be good to get the, the, the 10 million by my stage 5 so basically what I'm doing do here is I'm going back when you go back in you can absolutely collect those gems that was there before and you collected before you could absolutely go back and collect those things again and add it to add it to your bank account that's what makes it easy to get to the best ending is because you just go back and you keep collecting even after you get the ride you know the everything will appear back the way it was and you can collect it again and get it again and that'll add, you know, of course I went back, I got the extra man, because we need the extra man to, to make sure we can accomplish a 1cc run, so that we can uh, take home the gold. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm completing the stage, after I've gotten my money, that was kind of a stupid thing to do there, because now I sort of put myself into, uh, <clears throat> Put myself in a position to die since this is a no death run that I'm doing. Um, I can't I can't suffer any deaths. So so I'm doing a no death run on difficulty, best ending, no death run on difficulty level, which is the highest you can go. So I can't suffer any deaths. So I got to make sure that I keep a healthy amount of HP up there and do, and don't die. So basically, well, now I've got to uh, practice extreme caution because I can get hit one time and it'll be game. Because you got to remember, you sustain more damage here and on difficulty level than you do on any other level. Usually right there, there'll be a cake right there to fill up your life. Now, it was a gem. So they take all of those things away on difficulty level, on the uh, difficult mode, um, and replace it with money, <clears throat> with the large gems. Which is worth a lot, of course. So we're gonna take out this easy ass boss right here. I should be able to, to take him out with, with absolutely no hits. It should be simple, but still a good idea to stay healthy as possible so that you don't have to worry about death, especially if you're doing a no death. All right. This will be the last run that I would do on the original Ducktales. Um, once we beat this, once I get this done, we're going to be going to, to DuckTales 2. We're going to be doing DuckTales 2, and we're going to be doing all of the endings, the alternate endings they have on that, if they have the alternate endings. So, we're definitely going to do DuckTales 2 and knock it out, a new death run first, and then we're going to go back in and do some, uh, some endings. So, so now I've chosen Transylvania, reason being is because... You got you got to remember um, it you you can up your HP here and it's very important if you do it on difficult to make sure you target you make sure you target the stages that you can get your extra HP one of them was the Himalayas and now the uh, Transylvania I got to go and make sure I get myself uh, some uh, some security so that whenever I started collecting the gems I could secure I could definitely secure my spot uh, to prevent any deaths and prevent any loss of men or anything like that 
So now that I got that secured, I'm going to go back to the beginning and we're going to start grinding out some gems and get some gems and get and get uh, get our boy Scrooge McDuck back on top as far as being rich, being the richest duck in the world. So we got to get him out of the poorhouse. So now we're going to go and we're going to grind for some money. Man. We're going to grind for that money, baby. That money. You know, that's what he's about. All that money. So as you, as you can see right here, you uh, you know where the secret areas are, the secret spots on the walls. You can, you can uh, uh, there get there's gems hiding, like in the in the uh, in some of the walls sometimes. And you just all you have to do is just pass it or jump past it, and the gems will just come out and out of the blue. This is what made it hard to do the the bad endings because those gems come out of nowhere. And if you collect one gem, it it ruins your run. So that's how hard it was. As you can see those ghosts, I can get bodied right there. Thank God I got him holding some some ice cream. Because I was in bad, bad condition here. Because all it would take is for somebody to hit me once and I would get bodied. So now we gotta do the pogo jump under here. Gotta make sure we do that because we can die right here. Alright, successful. And we got a whole buttload of gems and ice cream cones. And now we can leave. Gonna make sure there's no more gems hiding anywhere. Make sure I got everything I need. So basically what we do is gonna take us all the way back to the beginning and see how that gem just popped out of nowhere? That's exactly what makes this easy, is because the gems are everywhere. And it's easy for them to to, to collect those gems. So we're gonna uh, right now what we're doing. As yes, we're gonna go, we're gonna grind out some gems, grind grind out this this stage before we go with and get the million from the boss. Go over here, get the extra man, get the, all the goodies that I can get that I can carry. Yes, we gotta we, we gotta put Scrooge McDuck back on top. So we're gonna go over here to the left and try to get a few gems they got over here inside of the armor. You can see there's gems popping up out of the curtains. Okay, we, we can't jump on top of them. I don't understand why I'm not doing it, but you gotta be careful because some of these things aren't money and you can sustain a hit. So basically we just need to go and get to the other side and get the rest of those gems hiding in the armor. See I would go to that mirror right there, but we want to avoid going there. Reason being is, um, I didn't want to go there because they have that little little cart thing where you have to jump over the pits or you have to jump out of the, the carts. And um, <clears throat> this is a no death one, so I cannot, I cannot get this far and then go there and lose a life. So what we're going to do is, since there's not a, it's, it's not a lot of gems over there anyway, I could probably just do an extra money ride to make up for not getting those gems. And that's what I'm going to do because I absolutely think that I'm going to sustain a death and it's going to end my run. So I'm going to absolutely avoid going through there. We're going to do this and then we're going to head to the boss and we're going to go to the next stage. And, uh, you know, I discovered that during practice that I can definitely still get the 10 million not going there. All I have to do is just get an extra money ride. So we'll just replace that with a money ride. Because we do want to keep all our lives intact. And we're going to go straight to Transylvania Boss. Which I thought it was a smart idea because... Um, not that I can't pass that part. I just don't want to take the risk. After collecting all of the gems and doing all the things I've already done. I don't want to take the risk of losing a life. Since this is a no death run. So we're going to avoid that and we'll just whatever we can divvy up and collect extra gems to make up for it. It's not that many gems. Uh, we'll do that. But we need to uh, keep our lives intact. That's what's important. We got to keep our lives intact. So we're going over here collecting extra, a little bit of extra ice cream cones and, and, and loot. Get some extra loot before I head on out and grab my million from this boss. Come 
You gotta understand, even even on difficulty settings, she's a little she could be a little bit tricky. Um, and you have to be extra careful. And now I'm taking hits that I shouldn't be taking. Focus camera, focus. I hate it when my, my camera does this. Right in the middle of recording. And I'm sorry if it hurts your, your guys' eyes, but... Alright, so we got that done. We got our million. And now we're going to head... We're going to head to the next stage in line. This is where you add up the money. We're getting there, so I think the next stage I'm going to do is probably the Amazon. More than likely. Now the Amazon is definitely a money spot. It's, it's a lot of gems in the Amazon, so I'm going to do a lot of grinding on the stage, even after I get the money right. See how those gems are just falling out of the trees? And the uh, I call those guys Donkey Kongs, those those, uh, those gorillas that keep coming by. Say, aren't you in the wrong game, motherfucker? And they got the snakes. And uh, the tree stumps have gems. There's gems falling out of the sky and out of the trees. Yeah. And yeah, we get we getting a lot, a lot of motherfucking loot. Get as much loot as you possibly can, even the little small diamonds. Grab what you can grab. If it if it's available to you, grab it. It's definitely gonna make a difference and it'll count. As you can see right there, we got a lot of little gems. We got one red gem with the red outlining, which is worth a lot of money. So we're going to always try to grab those things. And just head on over here to get some more goodies. Watch the spiders. So the spiders are definitely psych you out and make you, go to make you lose a life. Now, I think I could have gotten the money ride. As you can see up there, it says... Uh, one um, it, it's it has the seven in in the second place there and um, I could have actually just not gotten anything but I say I'll just wait until the next time around and the thing of it is you can you could you can wait until you hit the lucky number seven by collecting the gems but, but make sure you keep an eye on it if well, once you get and you collect and you get it to seven you have to stop collecting gems because then it'll mess up once you get to launch patch McQuack and you don't have it on 7 you won't get the money right you gotta make sure it is on 7 by the time you get there to take it to, to, to get a ride from him so you will probably have to stop collecting gems until you get there so that you can get the money right so that's what I'm grinding for gems now it's at 24 now we gotta get it to 27. The bees are absolutely a pain in the ass on here. A royal pain in the ass. Alright, since we couldn't get a gem, we're gonna uh, not take, take it, collect any more money. Reason being is because if we collect too much money, we're, we're gonna absolutely mess up the money ride. So we're gonna not collect gems and just try to head over to where launch pad McQuack is and get the ride and then make another trip to the Amazon to collect more gems and of course finish the stage and grab the million from the boss be careful right here this is a place where you can definitely get killed those bees are pretty persistent and they will make you fuck up okay gotta get the pogo stick going there you go Let's go and get that ride. We don't have to collect anything right now. We could just go and go straight to the ride and collect it when we get back. Because uh, it'll mess up our money ride. But yeah, we, we definitely have to collect. Yeah, we have to collect uh, the ones on the other side on the, on the left. Definitely, because we haven't reached 27 yet. And we got to make sure we be careful right here. I think the, the red gem is on the other side. We got to avoid that red gem because the red gem will put us over 27. Okay, get the red gem out of the way and just let it disappear. Just let it, let it, let it disappear. I said it'll mess up our money route. We're at 25, 26, and 27. 
See up there where it says seven? That this, 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 that's when you know you can get the money right. And we're doing it. We're making up for Transylvania trip for not going in that one mirror. This is to make up for that. And this will definitely do more than make up for that. See all the red gems you get, you know, mostly red gems that you're getting? A lot more money than you would have got. And then you would have risked losing a life there too. So it's definitely smart if you're doing a no death run. Just avoid that. And so just avoid that altogether. Now we're coming back to Amazon. As you can see, all of the gems that was there before that you collected before is back. And you can collect those things and still uh, add it to your money and your account. That's why what's that's what's so good about grinding this stage. There's so many gems on this stage. I mean, you definitely have to come back in and grind it like you do normally, and just collect the gems. Trying to maintain your health, trying to maintain um, being healthy, so that you will not risk getting a life stolen from you. Get these gems. There's a few gems right here that falls out fall, falls out of the trees. Then you can go back over here and, and collect the gems again. That's what's so good about this because you can go back and you can collect it again. You can only do it one extra time. Once you get back over there, Launch, um, launch Pack McQuack will be gone. You're only allowed to use him once on each stage. So once you use him once, he's not going to be there again for you. So uh, use, use, everything, use everything wisely. Use everything wisely. The money ride's very important because that's what's going to give you the 10 million, 10 million before you get to stage 5. Watch the spiders again. You don't want to lose a life senselessly. Watch the spikes. Make sure you do pogo sticks on the spikes. Get an extra man, get another gem. As you can see, I have 6 extra men, so I basically. I secured my uh, best ending run by having six men up there. But this is a no death run, so it really doesn't really matter. Because I can't even lose one life. Okay, now we can go back and collect those gems that we didn't collect before the money ride. Just get those gems, get all of those gems. Collect anything you can find. Even some of those bees are. Uh, you'll get gems from them too every every, you know, every now and then. Make sure you um. It does help too, as you see the time clock up there. The quicker you, the quicker you finish the stage, the more money you'll get. So that's another factor too. You do it quick enough, you'll get money from that too. So we're gonna go. We're gonna get these the red gems, which is worth a lot. Gonna head on back down. And now we're going to head to clear the stage out. Just be careful not to sustain too, too, too many hits. As I, of course, I did. Why did you do that? What I'm doing is a much difficult, difficult feat than just getting the best ending. I'm doing this deathless. So I cannot die. I absolutely cannot lose a life. So we got another red gem there. You see how I just got hit senselessly right there? That was so stupid. Now I'm actually on pins and needles now. Get the ice cream cone. Did I ever go back down and get that gym? Doesn't look like I did. Now I um, got hit again. I'm really being careless right here. I'm really, really putting myself in a bad position. Now I absolutely cannot get hit anymore on the way to the boss because then the boss is going to body me he's going to start doing all the strange patterns I notice when, when you're, whenever your your HP is low and you get to the boss they start to do weird patterns on you that they wouldn't normally do if you had uh, if you had extra, if you had a full HP you, when your HP is low they start to fuck with you they start to do different patterns that you didn't know before. As you as you can see, I'm going to be getting gems here. Um, there's not going to be any ice creams or cakes over here like it usually is. 
not going to be any of that. So now I basically put myself in harm's way by getting those careless hits. Let's go and collect the gems and just... Probably what we got to do is just go straight to the boss. We cannot even... We can't go the long way this time. We did. We got the money right, so we don't need to go the long way. We can just head straight to the boss now and try to beat the boss on on the HP that we have. So now let's just let's just get out of here. And I almost messed up right here. You see that? And I got a chance to grab an extra gem there, which was good. So now it's just I can't even go the other way because I'm not healthy enough, and I would definitely lose a life. Let's just go and uh, body this boss right quick. Stay frosty and... You know what I'm saying? See how see how weird the patterns are? He's taking longer to jump when he usually jumps wider right away. See how he did that? See how, see the weird patterns I'm talking about? Because he knows your, your HP is low? Alright, but I survived it. Thank God. I got out of that one. So I'll call, collect my million and I brought home all of that money. And now we're we're on our way. Close, 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 close. To extreme riches. Close. And we still got a couple stages left to go. So we're doing well. We're doing well. We're gonna be going to the African mines now. African mines is where you can get some money. You can get a lot of money here. I since I got the money right, I don't have to I don't have to get the money right here. I recommend you not get the money right. The reason being is because, especially since I'm doing a no death run, there's places in the African mines that you can get stuck, and you absolutely cannot go back. You know what I'm saying? You can't. Be, they either force you to finish the stage, or um, or you would have to you would have to you would have to die, because if you have not gotten the treasure and you have not gotten those gems those extra gems in the stage it's going to absolutely hurt your chances of getting the 10 million before stage 5 so you absolutely would if you get stuck in that area that you get stuck in you would absolutely would have to lose a life and that's not going to be a good thing to do if you're doing a no death run if you're doing a no death run then you're, you're, you're pretty much fucked so since I'm doing a no death run I, have to loosely, I absolutely have to skip the money right here no money rights here I'm going to get a money ride on the moon stage to make up for it. So just go here, collect the money like normal. As you can see these enemies, uh, it's on difficult so you can you you would you get you take a lot of damage even from the simplest enemies. Grab the money. I was able to uh, get myself a nice cream cone there. Uh, keep going. Alright, we go down here, collect the money. They got uh they also got an extra man. Over here in the corner. Which would definitely really don't matter because I'm doing a no death run, but anybody that's not doing a no death run, these these extra men are your best friend. So I have to absolutely be careful not to get trapped. Uh, anywhere or be forced to leave the stage or be forced to, to beat the stage um, that would be bad if I'm doing a no death run so now I can go down here and just continue to collect more gems collect the gems here it's really not a lot of gems in here but you do have the, the treasure which is worth a million and definitely we definitely have to cannot leave the stage without that. If you don't get the million, you won't get the you won't get the uh if you don't get that million, you probably will hurt your chances in getting the 10 million. So you have to get you have to get the million. So I'm taking a shortcut over here. So avoid deaths and avoid, you know, and we're going straight to launch patch quack. We're going to just go out of the stage and come back in. No money ride. So we're going to come back in, it's going to put us right back at the beginning of the stage. We're going to continue to collect the money, like normal. 
and the money, everything will be will, will return. They're going to recycle everything. Um, everything will be put back where it was, and you'll be able to collect it again. So add it to your money. So just go ahead on like normal, and get your money. And then once you get your money, we got to go and get the treasures, and get out of the stage. Launch pack McQuack is not going to be there, so there's no need for us to go anywhere else other than getting getting the uh, the, tre the treasure. As you can see, even the bat that's down was really hurting me and put me in danger of death. Thank God I get I got a hold of some some ice cream cones because I could have absolutely lost a life. So get those gems and um, we're gonna go over to get the treasures. And we're gonna go, we're gonna get out of here. And head to the moon. Okay, let's go over here and get the little extra goodies we got here. Yeah, I even grabbed the extra man. Just for shits and giggles. Get over here and get the extra gem. Get, oh, get the red gem. Be careful not to fall because if you, if you fall down there, you won't be able to come back up, and that will be bad. So we're gonna we're gonna go straight over to the right, and we're going to get all of our things that we need. Collect some extra gems on the way. Ice cream lady, give us ice cream, fill up alive, and get us ready for the boss fight. Now we're gonna we're gonna do juggles across this large pit. Get the gem and get the treasure, and we're out of and we're out of this bitch. We're out of this motherfucker. The treasure is worth a million. Get the extra gems and leave the bat alone. Let's not fuck with the bat. We got enough gems, so we're good. And let's body this guy right quick. Pretty simple, boss. We got full HP, so there's no reason for us to die here. We're good. Well, this was a really fun run. This was a really, really fun run. A lot of fun. A lot more fun than doing the bad ending. All right, we're doing well. We're doing very great. We uh, we got our we got our extra money. We got the money ride. We got the gems. We got the um, we got the million dollar treasure so we, we we're on our way we're gonna be heading to the moon at seven million we're at seven million now so we're close now we're close once we get all of the money here on the moon we should be over 10 million guys so collect all of the gems that we need to collect to get there to get to 10 million before we before we leave the stage we have to be we have to be at 10 million because we won't be able to collect anything after this stage. It'll just be straight to the final boss. So collect what you can collect now. This is the very, very last chance. So make sure you collect it all. It has a lot of gems here too. It's a lot of money here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off uh, just grabbing some gems. And getting our money right, and, and that's the first thing we're gonna ro work on is getting that money right to make up for all the gems we didn't get in the African mines, because we're trying to stay alive. We're trying to keep all of our uh, all of our men intact. So let's let's go and just grab as much money as we possibly can. There's a gem right there. Sometimes those guys be dropping gems. So make sure you kill them anytime you get. They do a lot of times pump out gems. Big gems too. Some extra gems here. So I'm head on out. Collect what you can collect here, guys. This will be a last chance to collect the money. You guys see the new TV we got? You see it? I I've actually tried, uh, allowed you to see the, at least the top of the TV. It's a really nice TV um, that we're doing it on. It'll be easier to focus the camera because, you know, I'm not focusing on a small square. And it's, it's easier to do camcord recorded runs because the screen is so big. But it's a very nice TV and uh, we're happy to have it. 
It's only it's only gonna get better from there, guys. We're gonna be doing a lot of awesome runs. Um, I got a computer and uh, new, a newer computer, and we're gonna be hooking up my um, capture card, and we're gonna be doing some streams from from that computer once I get everything set up. And I'm gonna have Rudy set it up for me, because of course I'm very very green to the capture card stuff. So what we're gonna do now? Uh, I think we can get the money right now. As you can see, the second we got the second digit with the number seven, so I think we're good for the ride already. Already. And yes, it's good enough. So now just collect as many gems as you possibly can here, because this is going to be your last chance, your very last chance. And you got you got to make sure you you make it to 10 million before you get to the final battle. So we got, we grabbed all of those. So we should be good, guys. I mean, once we get the treasure here, once we get the treasure, and no, notice all the gems are coming back since we came back into the stage, we're going to be collecting the same gems we did before. And it'll count. So collect those things normally. Now that we got the money right, we can, uh, we can finish the stage, just get the treasure, get the money, and get everything we need to get head on out of here so we're gonna go over to we're gonna head over to the the left and uh, collect a little bit of, and grind out some gems let's get some extra gems to make sure we do make that 10 million mark once we leave this stage collect as many gems as you possibly can Any, anywhere where you think there's money go and get it go and grab it I see the enemies do pop out gems even when they're killed and they come back you can still get gems from them so now we're gonna go over to the right we got to go and get the uh, the key and we got to go and get the uh, that little controller thingy to to get out of the stage we're gonna go over to the far right to collect some gems, some extra gems that's over here. Extra goodies. Grab that gem before it disappears. Go over to the right once again, collect some gems. This is where we usually have food, but since it's on difficulty mode, there's not going to be food here, it's going to be gems. Lots and lots of gems. And this was good about doing it on difficult because you'll get more gems that way. Definitely a lot more gems. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. Alright, let's head on up. Oh, we're going over here on the side to collect more gems. Oh yeah, they, they have gems falling out of the walls and the skies over here. A few of them. Yeah, it's important to know where all of those secret places are to get those gems. They really do help. Uh, another big one right there. Awesome. Awesome sauce. This is a no death run. Now what we gotta do is now we gotta we gotta uh there's a huge huge risk over there. Um, I can't get bodied by getting this treasure. They didn't make it easy for you to get the treasure, they made sure they made made it difficult for you to get it. The thing of it is, is I cannot make any mistakes here, or that's going to be game for me, even me getting this far. I could still lose a life. And once I lose a life here, it's it. Yeah, the gizmo, the gizmo blast. That's what I meant to say, the gizmo blast. Okay, now that I got what I need to get, it's time to go and get the secret treasure. And they're not going to make it easy for you to get it. So I have to absolutely be careful here because I could lose a life and end, it'll end my run. So let's proceed with caution. Gotta make sure I land those jumps correctly. And bouncing on the spikes. Okay, now that I got the treasure, now we gotta go back. And make sure that I'm pogoing 
and I'll fall on the spikes because if I get hit by the spikes it'll knock me right into the pit and I would lose a life so yeah I got lucky here uh, so remain calm and still was a little nervous there and I was sustained a hit but that's okay I can get ice cream cones to fill that back up and now we've got the hardest we've got the absolute hardest thing out of the way we got one more little one more little icky spot that we can lose a life at and then we'll be we'll be good to go after that after I make this it's it's a wrap it's a fucking wrap guys it's a fucking wrap so now I gotta grab one more ice cream cone for the road and okay got it let's get out of here now let's go time to take the take home the gold still have to be careful still could lose a life if I don't remain calm or if I get too anxious so I gotta still remain calm and uh, proceed with caution and be careful not to make a big mistake because that would be our run if we did not make that mistake that I made in the bad ending right there getting stuck in between those two things uh, and grab me an extra gem alright let's Head on out. We're coming up on another area that I can make a mistake at, and me being nervous and everything right now, I can seriously make a mistake and panic. So the main thing I need to do now is stay calm and, and, and make this jump. This is the last jump. If I make it, it's a fucking wrap. All I have to do is just take out the boss, and the boss is easy. As you can see, I'm sustaining really, really great caution. As you can see, I stood up because I'm like, I'm not going to fuck this up right now. I'm going to make sure I land this jump. There we go. And I did it. So I uh, took my seat back down. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. It's a wrap from here. All I have to do is just body the ball. And we can still collect some... Uh, Collect some things on the way. Some more gems. Um, ice cream cones. You're gonna get. You're gonna get an encounter from the Bugle Boys here. Let's see Bugle Boys. Come on, Bugle Boys. Come on, guys. I meant the Bugle Boys. I'm thinking about the Bugle. Since I sustained a hit, I got to go back and get ice cream cones. I'm really nervous right here because I'm getting ready to land this no death one with the best ending and I'm excited. So I'm really, really making really childish and terrible mistakes that shouldn't be made that I usually don't make. Thank God they're deep that they're giving us enough ice cream cones because I'd be in danger of. Uh, Dying. All right, let's go. Since we got our full HP, let's go and body the boss now, and we absolutely have to be careful with that too. This is difficult, so everything's going to be tough. It's going to take more hits on the boss. They're going to be, they're going to take away more of the HP when you get hit. So I have to be careful, not to fuck this up. Uh, I'm taking it one step at a time. Even though I know I could get him faster, but I'm just being extra careful so I can land this run. Right. Camera's doing the focus thing. Yes. Alright, and that's it. We got the cheese, we got the million, we got the extra tr uh, secret treasure. I think, I absolutely think we're going to be over 10 million. Look at those numbers, look at those numbers. Gotta be over that 10 million mark now. And I made it. As you can see, I made it. It's a fucking wrap, guys. This it's a wrap, No Death Run is in the bag. It's in the fucking bag. It is a fucking wrap now. All I have to do is just get to the boss and body his ass. And it's over. We got it. We did it, boys.
no need to collect. No need in doing anything that that now we've secured our ten million dollars. And we are the world's richest duck. Now I'm gonna get all of my I'm gonna get all of my people and my friends coming back to me now that I'm a rich duck again. All the people I I lost when I got the bad ending and became a broke motherfucking duck. Lost all my friends, now they're gonna be returning because I'm rich again. And now richer than I was before. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it over here to the to the left. Careful not to get hit. Get there as healthy as possible so we could definitely uh, take him out. Our uh, very last encounter in the game. And here we are. It is a fucking rat, guys. All I have to do is body him, and that's it. As you can see, you see the, how the game's fucking with me now? You saw how I just went straight through that guy? Saw how I just went straight through him? I'm doing an absolute no death run on the best any on difficult. So you, when you when, when you do feats like that in games, the game will start to fuck with you a little. They'll start glitching out. So exercise a little patience. I know I'm getting anxious to finish the game, but I still have to be patient because I still could die. I still could end up starting over. Even though it'd be a shame if I die in this game. Be a damn fine oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, come on, let's get it, Chris. Like we can do it. Oh, he's doing it again. I'm taking a chance here. You see how the hits I'm getting now? I'm down to two. I'm absolutely at risk of death. Now I gotta be super careful now. And I need to go ahead on and body him quick. Or I could I could get bodied and the run will be the, the run will be no good. So now I've got to absolutely make sure the bat is low enough for me to pogo off and get and hit him. Not die already. And yes. We got it, boys. It's a wrap. This right here is a no-brainer. It's always been easy, never lost. So it's done, guys. It's a wrap, guys. So sit back and relax and enjoy the best ending. Keeping it fucking retro. DuckTales, best ending, yeah. no death run. Death run. No best death ending, run. boys. Best ending. Best ending. Now I know all my hoes yes. gonna come back. Finally. All them hoes gonna come back that lost in the bad ending. Motherfucker got some money, money, more money, more money, more money, more money. Alright, basically here, okay. it's gonna be the same Always here right. as it is on the other, on the, uh, in the other ones. Uh, this part never changes. It's just the first part that changes. So it's a wrap, guys. So that's the best ending. That's that. That's all you're gonna see right there. So, uh, guys. Uh, Thank you for that. That'll uh, conclude this section of our um, runs for DuckTales. This is the very last run on DuckTales. I did everything. I have accomplished every feat that I possibly can in this game. I've gotten the good ending. I've gotten the bad ending. And I've now gotten the good ending on difficulty level and no death. So it gets no better than that, guys. I've done everything. I need to do in this game we're getting we are ready to move on um so i thank you guys for uh watching my new death run we got cobra triangle we got kid icarus we got uh we got battle toast coming up those are going to be battle toast is going to be one of the i'm going to take down a really big game i want to take down some really hard games so battle toast is going to be one of them i promised a few people that i was going to Doing no death run of battle toads, so we're gonna take down the battle toads. And uh, we got Captain Commando coming up. A lot of great things coming up, guys. Uh, this will conclude another no death run, another play of Ducktales, and it conclude our marathon of Ducktales. We will be continuing Ducktales marathon with Ducktales 2 and all of the feats that there is to uh, to explore and accomplish in Ducktales 2. 
So everyone, I hope y'all enjoyed this run. This was a very, very fun run, like I knew it would be. Collecting the gems and getting, uh, getting our boy back on top. And everyone, uh, thank you for sitting through this run. Thank you for your support, everyone. Thank you for everything. Stay safe, remain safe out there. And you guys, keep it fucking retro. Thank you and have a great evening. Goodbye.